So here we go, second contest of the evening. We've got AJ Big Dog Carter versus Moses Matuvu. Uh, Carter's coming off of his, his third third appearance there. See his last one on last Steve Goodwin show. Uh, two wins so far, Danny, one knockout. I've seen I've seen Matuvu about a fair bit. He signed he, he fought Simon uh, Valili not long ago. I actually work Simon's corner and uh, he's a game boy this uh, Matuvu. He likes to have a go, Danny. Yeah, good. that's what we like to see. People are paying money to come and watch a good fight, so hopefully this one lives up to it. I mean, I've heard a lot about this AJ Carter. Um, that'd be a real solid hitter. Hopefully he's done a lot as an amateur, but that doesn't mean a thing. No, you're right, Danny. He only had five amateur fights, but he's got a, a good trainer in his corner and and uh, he's managed by a good good guy as well as Derek, Derek Williams, uh, as those announced, former Commonwealth European and British champion, and his father, who trained in Colton, Warren was also a former pro himself, so he's got good people around him, Danny. Yeah, he's a lovely guy as well, Derek Williams. I was chatting to him earlier. He said his guy can really, really bang. I liked what he just did there inside. Um, Atuvu went to hold. He was determined to get his shots off, AJ, which is which is always nice to see, working on the inside. He's a big guy, AJ Carter. He looks like he's got a nice long jab, and he's trying to use it there. He's throwing it from a good distance out, trying to establish his jab, which is which is good to see. He's got a fairly good head movement. Nice with that jab. He's measuring that jab quite nicely. Yeah, I was talking to him earlier and he said he lives and breathes boxing, you know. There's nothing more that you know, makes him any happier than succeeding as a champion, so yeah, good luck to the guy. I know he wants to be active. I think he's got two more shows lined up on Steve Goodwin's shows already. I think one in November and one in December. So certainly the Goodwins are certainly looking to keep him active and keep him moving. 
I do oh, know. Got caught in there the ropes. The ropes there. Oh. Batuvu still moving around there, still still keeping his, his wits about him, even though he's outside the uh, outside the ring there. Well, Nicely left foot there. That's good work. I like the way he switched his feet there. Okay, the left foot didn't land, but AJ Carter switched his feet there to find a different angle. It's nice to see. Again, quite a mature performance for his third third pro fight out. He looks quite settled, and especially with not much of an amateur pedigree, Danny, he's settled quite nicely into this fight. Oh, I totally agree. I mean, it's a lovely right hand just went in there. Matuvu actually looking away. Dangerous times in for Matuvu if you're going to stand and trade with AJ Carter. Especially as Matuvu's predominantly operated at cruiserweight mainly, Danny. He has fought some heavyweights, but he operated mainly at uh, cruiserweight as well. So he's in with a, a bigger guy of AJ Carter. So this is his... Uh, 40th contest, but he's only been stopped three times in, in those 39 or 40 contests, and so if AJ can get a stoppage here today, he can really lay down a marker. Absolutely, and send a bit of a bit of a message and a warning, if you like, to the heavyweight division. Especially as the domestic scene heavyweight is, is wide open at the moment, really, isn't it? There's, you know, obviously the likes of David Hay and Tyson Fury will obviously look up to, to um, bigger and better things, but you've got the likes of... Um, Ian Lewison and, and yeah, uh, that around. There's so a lot it's around. Uh, old Kieran McCann there, the referee, old friend of mine. He won't have no nonsense out of these two big guys. He actually told Matovo then to break the step back. I think he ignored his first request. Have you scored that first round, Danny? Nice yeah, and comfortable. It was a scrap. scrappy round, don't get me wrong, but I'll go with AJ Carter. Second round, round two. So we go round two and... AJ Carter seems to have a bit of support here. I know he sold about 100 tickets for his first fight and I think 130 for his second fight. So he's uh, getting a nice little following behind him, Danny, which I think is quite important. Well, it helps, Kev, doesn't it, in professional boxing, you know? It does help. Uh, he's just thrown a massive right hand there, AJ Carter, and a sneaky little right uppercut inside. So he's got variety in his shots. Uh, like the two who come forward there and looked like there's a sort of the heads went together a little bit as he went in. And uh, he's having a go with two, but like I say, I've seen him before and he. Uh, he likes to put on a show and... Well, he's looking for his right hand, Matuvu. He just dropped his shoulder back there. I thought one was going to come over. So, AJ Carter must be aware of these things. You know, the last thing this kid, young kid needs is getting it on the chin, you know? Especially so. with guys up at this sort of weight and he takes the one shot to uh, scramble the senses. It looks like that's Matuvu's the two shots he's looking for. He's looking for that wild left hook swing and that big overhand right, as you just talked about, Danny. So. Oh. That wasn't a million miles away from AJ Carter. Showed it a little bit, didn't he? And that's why I think Matuvu see it come in. And, and uh, Matuvu threw one back, so... <laughs> like for like. Like for like. Nice inside work there from AJ Carter. Caught of a right hand there from Matuvu. Got a little bit wild there, Danny. Yeah, he was caught there, but right hand left up. Don't want to take too many of them. I'd like to see Carter just get back on his jab, just box his kid a little bit. When he was using his jab in the first first round, he was handling him quite nicely. He only seems to be getting caught a little bit now. He's trying to open up inside a little bit on that jab. I think he can control Matuvu quite nicely. Yeah, absolutely. I can hear his corner here, Derek Williams and co. Screaming, box, don't get involved, box, which is smart advice. And, you know, you need to listen to your corner. You need to, especially someone like Derek Williams. You know, he's been there, seen it, done it, British, European, Commonwealth champion. So... It's they must be seeing something in the gym from AJ Carter that he has got nice skill. You know, he's got lovely long arms, he's using a really nice jab. Let's see a bit more of it. Let's break Matuvu down for a couple of rounds. And if you want to step up, then step up. Absolutely. Especially, like you said, the first round, he used that jab really nicely. He's got really long arms, as you said, and he thinks so. Working the body there. That's I like that work. from AJ. I like the explosive inside. Must be careful of that right hand left hook. That's all that Matuvu seems to be bringing to the table. But it comes over very, very well. Nice jab. AJ just needs to be careful just on that mid-range, Danny. When he's, he's sort of a mid-range where he's not quite inside and he's not quite outside, it seems to be where he drops his hands a little bit too, a little bit too close, drops his hands, and that's where Matuvu is looking for that big overhand right. And Absolutely. there's one or two that's land and one or two that's not been too far away from land on his chin. But from nice that left hook for there from, from the big dog, if you like. But again, as we're saying, Danny, from that distance, it's controlling Matuvu quite nicely. You can see them wild shots coming from that far out. They're not a massive threat from that far out. You know, had you been a couple of inches in, you will be caught with these shots. It's all about learning in these young That's fights. That's a That's lovely shot. left there. Matuvu tried two wild shots. He's to watch his head here as well, Kieran McCann. Matuvu's leading with his head, seems to be pushing him around a little bit. Okay, good round. How'd you score that one, Danny? Tough yeah, one to score that one? Yeah, it was a tough one to score, but it was, I think the cleaner work come from AJ Carter. Right at the end, he pulled it back with a couple of good shots. So, yeah, I'm going with um, 
Oh, Joey Carter on that one again. So we go round three, AJ Carter versus Moses Watuvu. We've got AJ Carter leading by two rounds at the moment, quite comfortable. Has been caught of a few shots and has asked a few questions, but generally in control, Danny. Yeah, I agree with you there, mate. He doesn't seem to be out of his depth here in any way, shape or form. He seems to be controlling the fight, nicking the space as and when he can. It's all one-way traffic at the moment. How far do you see AJ Carter going from what you've seen of him so far? Well, you know, it's very hard to say, but there's a lot of good fighters out there, especially in the heavyweight division. Lovely. Sorry yeah, to cut across there, Dan. Just fainted the left shoulder there and then threw the right hand over the top and caught Matubu. He's hurting, and, and he's complaining there, Matubu. Yeah, I think, I think the stop is to be on the wall here. He's got to get a couple of clean shots off and it could be all over. Matubu bowing his head low. Again, Matuva, you can show this experience there, got inside, messed up a little bit, bought himself a little bit of time here. I think he was hurt there, Dan, and he's managed to get the ref to break him, and he's got himself a, a quick 10, 15 seconds recovery time there. Well, there was a solid right hand that went in from AJ Carr. If I was AJ Carr, I wouldn't be too happy about this, this stop. I mean, he seems to have had his man hurt, and it's just given him another sort of nine seconds to recover. If I was AJ Carr now, I'd be stepping on the pressure. The show he can hurt him. I'll be trying to get him out of there now. And as you said earlier, if he can if he can get the stoppage here, he will. Oh, That's great shot inside. Lovely. Beautiful right uppercut inside there. Matubu looked to come back with two body shots, but AJ Carter took both of them. Switched the southpaw just briefly there, AJ Carter. Yeah, yeah, I see that. He, he didn't do any work when he'd done it. It's pointless doing it, really, but he went back to orthodox to his comfortable stance. He's fought some good people, Matuvu. He's been here with Roddy Camacho and Huey Fury twice and China Clark as well. So if he can... Oh, he's oh, got he a few shots right now. And that's what AJ Carter's got to be careful of. Matuvu's still a big guy. He can still carry some power. Absolutely. Although he's never stopped anyone. He's got four wins, never stopped anyone. We don't want to be given any risks. And You know, it's when AJ Carter's getting involved in close quarter battles, his chin is very up in the air. He does need to be careful of that. It only takes... A wild swing from Matuvu, you know, and it could cause him a couple of problems. I'd like, just, I'd like to see Carter get back to his boxing now, listen to his corner, and get this man back under control. I was just about to say that, Danny, especially as he just starts to step up in class, which we expect him to do after here when he goes on. He needs to be a bit cute on the inside and a bit more compact and tight on the inside because people that can bang later on, if he hangs his chin out that far like he did on that bit there, then there's going to be people that's going to ask questions of that chin. Absolutely, you know, and he seems like a lovely guy, AJ Carr. He seems to live and breathe the game, which is nice. It's not, you know, it's the foot there of a left hook, half on the glove, half on the side of the head. That's better. So, it's got a little bit of head movement going. He's come off. a very awkward character, though, Kevin, isn't he? Look, ducking low, he, sitting down on the ropes. Yeah, very much so. He's, so you can see he's been around, he's, he's experienced, but Carter just seems to have come off his jab this, this round, Danny, and I think that's what's causing the problems. I think Matuvu's had his best round. Nice lead left hook there from Carter. But I think Matuvu's had the best round this round, and that's purely because Carter hasn't kept him under control with the jab so far in this round. He seems to have come completely off that jab. Looking for that lead right hand again, that little shimmy beforehand, the lead right hand. End of a round, how'd you score that one, Danny? A bit closer to that level one. Level round, to be honest with you, Kevin, that's how I see this one. A level round. Does need to come out in this last round. Make a bit of an impact, I believe, now. Just get back on that jab and, right. and keep him under control. Get him under control. If a stoppage comes, it comes. Don't try and force it. If it comes, it comes. So we go fourth and final round for AJ Carter versus Mo Moses Matuvu. A little bit of a quiet round there from AJ Carter and Matuvu had the best round so far and you scored it level, Danny. Yeah, I did. I'll give that last round a level round, Kev, yeah. This is better though. He started on the right foot, you know, he's coming out with a jab. I believe Derek Williams has probably sat him down and said, look, son, you know, you do need to start using that jab. So let's hope he listens. Yeah, he just got caught when he got wild and the thing had come off the jab and that was nice right hand left hook. A little bit far away, but he's trying different things and he's certainly asking questions of Matuva anyway. He's certainly tried the variation. Some of it's worked and some of it hasn't so far tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I make you right. I mean, he's a very, very tricky customer. Right, so he made him miss with the left hook. He's a very, very tricky customer, this Matuva. 
Makes you wonder if Matuvu had some power. Obviously, he's never stopped anyone. He's only won four. But makes you wonder if he's had some power, whether he'd, of course, it's the people he's fought over the years, a few more problems than what he does. Because oh, yeah, absolutely. You can see he's a great spoiler, really, even inside. You can see he's locked AJ Carter's arm up. AJ Carter's got one free, which is nice uppercut left off inside. Switching his feet to South Fork again now. He's not your come and survive only journeyman, though, is he, Matuvu? He comes to have a go. He likes to have absolutely, a go. And yeah. So he's only ever been stopped three times in 39 contests, so it's, uh, he's confident in his chin and in his ability to spoil and, and survive. So I do believe that AJ Carter oh. got caught there with a fantastic right hand. He took that flush on the chin. He seemed to avert him a little bit there. He yeah, responded he's, well. His legs seemed to stiffen slightly then when that right hand landed. It was a, it's a clean right hand from Matuva, and this is what we were talking about a little bit earlier on. As AJ Carter gets further on, he's going to have to face perhaps bigger punches and and uh, he needs to just tuck that chin down slightly just keep them hands nice and high Danny because that was a lovely shot for Matuvu. I think Matuvu realised there or thought to himself he did hurt AJ Carter as he banged his chest as if to say come on have another one but didn't respond so that was yeah nice and mature for AJ he didn't get drawn into it there and it's quite it easy for a young pro to get here on the chin go flying forward make a mistake and be knocked out so he'd done the right thing there AJ Carter got clipped got his hands up Cleared his leg, got back to his boxing. Yeah, he seems clear now. His leg seems okay now, Danny. He seems to be a bit more. He's talking back to the ref, so he looks, he looks fine. So I think he needs to, uh, as we said before, get back on that jab and just try and break Matuvu's rhythm and try and stop him from growing in confidence. He won't take no nonsense, young Kieran McCann. He's a good referee. He won't take no nonsense. Oh, oh another right hand for Matuvu. Oh. He doesn't want to be taking these heavy shots. You know, it was he's boxed more well for three rounds. He, he seems to be taking some silly shots in his last round. It seemed to be more of a slap that one from Matuvu. But this is better from Carter. Yeah, better stuff now from Carter. He took a shot, responded with three of his own. That second hand, Matuvu it landed. It seemed to land on the inside of the glove rather than the, the knuckle part of the glove, which might have helped Carter end up being more of a slap rather than a, a big turning overhand right. So, but he's responding quite well. He doesn't seem to be too hurt from that, although it did recoil his head. Yeah, it did sound a lot worse than I actually think it was, of course. Um, the crowd all wooed and barred, so these slaps, that wasn't too far away again. Oh, on the bell. A good four rounds, and how did you score that last round, Danny? Well, that was a tricky one. I think I'm going to call that a level round. So we've got AJ Carter at 40 and uh, uh, Moses Matuvu at 38. So we've got Carter winning every round and sharing two of them, so... 40-38 is how we've scored it. Let's go down to the MC to find out the official verdict. That's always nice to see as well. Uh, they've had a little couple of words during the bout, but they've gone over at the end to shake hands. Fantastic. He's sport at the end of the day, guys. So the referee scored it similar to you, Danny. The referee scored it 40-37. We had it scored 40-38 here. But a nice, comfortable performance from AJ Carr. Asked a couple of questions, got caught a couple of shots. He's got a couple of things to work on, but not a bad performance from him. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him again. I mean, I do like an heavy weight. He seems to be able to punch very hard. He's explosive when allowed to be. I'm looking forward to seeing AJ Carter again.